Everything you are about to hear is real. Real people, real excitement. And let's go fuck have a good time. What the fuck? Get ready to experience the thrill of a lifetime. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Just sit back and enjoy the show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, let's do this. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Everybody. It's your old pals, Opie and Anthony. We're here. Good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this old gag. Yes. Groundhog Day, as you so eloquently put Sorry. it. Sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> That's true. I, I was telling Ant this morning, I got to be honest with people, it's sort of becoming a grind. <laughs> it's Groundhog know, Day in I, here. I know we have one of the easiest, you can't even call it a job. I know we have one of the easiest gigs in America, but... I was telling Ann, over the years, we've been at this 17 years now. Jesus. Over the years, we always had something to push you forward, to look forward to. Whether it was like, hey, guys, you're going to be syndicated to Philly. Or, hey, guys, we're working on that road show. We or, got a big gig hey, coming guys, up. Hey, guys, we got that Sex for Sam uh, promotion. Oh, boy. I know that was a bad example. Hey, guys, another idiot was on uh, uh, TV last night promoting the show, Assault on the Media. You know, yeah, yeah. There was always something. Something. And now it's just becoming the same, the same exact thing day after day. Yeah, like there's no. It's like it's like there's no Christmas. No. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to look forward to. Well, it's perpetually Tuesday, <laughs> just and, just like yeah, that. Or and I don't know, even I don't even know how we changed that because the rules have changed. That's just it. I They're, know we're we're pretty much stuck in the middle of nowhere in this building, so it's not even easy to get to us. No, we used to have a very organic type radio show where people could just stop by, hang out the window, and yell at the fucking guy sweeping the sidewalk across the street. And whatever it was, that was a classic. But now, man, you gotta. We gotta tell this building. I think five days in advance if you're even coming to stop uh, by I on know. a whim. Yeah. No yeah. more stopping by on a whim. I know. We used to get that. It was like, who the fuck is that sitting out there? Remember, like, who the fuck is sitting on the, the bleachers? Who is that? Right. And you hear, oh, it's just some fans. They're in from fucking from Ottawa. We think some fans from Ottawa. We think he's retarded, but we're not sure. Well, yeah. let's have him on the air and All find right. out. Yep, he's retarded. No. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen minutes later, he's jerking off, and then, <laughs> and then, I don't know. Then, then people are calling saying you could get fired for that. That's what it was. It was just that thank uncertainty of 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 what was going on. Thank God, Bobo's uh, mom had a sense of humor. Oh my God! And right. was was okay with the fact that her son was masturbating within fifteen minutes of meeting us. <laughs> like a monkey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. What a mess. What a disaster. And then we would get mad at guests, and we would just pour <laughs> condiments out the window at them. Yeah, that yeah, was That's another still one of my favorite stories of all time. I, we got to write the book. You know the chapter that oh. we want to write. Maybe we don't write that for a while and just mm. write the actual book. Yeah, because the the day of the mustard was just <laughs> oh. one of my favorite moments of all time. The the yeah. Chinaman coming into work with Chinaman. mustard, Chinaman <laughs> mustard all over his suit, and he doesn't know where the, on the railroad, and he doesn't know where the mustard came from. Yeah. <laughs> Because it came from uh, us, three, four floors up. I wonder if you thought it was just massive bird shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like a pterodactyl flew over. And I, and I know he never knew where it came from, because then many times after that, I rode the elevator with the guy, and you would assume if he knew the mustard came from our show that someone would get a beat down or something. Yeah. He never knew where that mustard came from. Nope. And, of course, we were trying to get the guy with that stupid, what was it, the uh, toothpicks. the toothpicks guy. Oh, God. That infuriated all of us to the point Toothpick I, guy. I had to pour mustard on him from above, and yeah. I, I missed him, and I hit the Chinaman. <laughs> Chinaman. <laughs> the Chinaman. There's your Chinaman. <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is we got to shake some shit up. Yeah. Whatever that means. Shit's got to be shook. I know. I know it's starting today. Yes. Yeah. Today is uh, today. I don't feel like it's Groundhog Day. No, no. There's something a little different taking place. Although uh, it's not during the show. No. Which kind of blows. Um, it's uh, after the show, which means I won't be seeing any part of it. Well, why? If he had it right after the show, I would definitely stick around for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Like but right after the there's show. There's a couple hours in between the show and this big event that's happening here at SiriusXM that I can't stick around. What the hell are we supposed to do? Because know what would happen. 
Like I would, I would stick around and go, "What the hell? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick around for this event that we're gonna reveal in a minute here." Oh, cute. But then all of a sudden, the bosses, because this is, this is how they think. Oh God! Hey, you're here. We might as well just, you know, <laughs> we might as well have a meeting. Let's talk. There's always a might as well have a. Oh. How about we might as well not have a meeting? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm snoring. <laughs> right. Since you guys are hanging around, yeah. Why don't we, why don't we go to my office for a little while? Don't talk no! shop. No! Don't talk shop. I'm, I'm here just for the pizza party. Yeah. And I'm waiting for it to begin. So what's this pizza party about? I want to start... A big pizza party today. I want to start with Travis and Danny, because they were laughing pretty damn hard when uh, we were talking about this just before the mics were cracked. Uh, Travis, I'll start with you. What is the pizza party? Well, see, we had uh, a really good car crash comedy on Friday, right? I thought it was terrific. It was fantastic. So We're going to do that again. And, and, I, and you know how we were just bitching about how it's Groundhog Day? Yeah. Because every day is sort of the same to us. Yeah. And we don't like doing that. We like to... Oh, mixing it up. We like to have things that people... We can look forward to and the listeners can look forward to. Yeah. This car crash mm -hmm. comedy... Who am I kidding? It's never going to happen. Uh, <laughs> no. I, they, we actually had a they, meeting about it yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah. They think it might might make for a nice little road show in a few cities. We talked about it yesterday with sales. So I, I, I envision bringing that as a live radio show, yeah, in front yeah, of about a thousand people great. in Boston, New York, and possibly Philly. That How great would that be? Loved it. A nice, organized, polished radio show in front of everyone. That would be the Indeed. first time in our history. Indeed. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> it really would be. That's it true. actually would be, right? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so, car so, crash uh, was so good. So yeah, we, we, we had a good show. The staff did a great job. I sent out an email letting everybody know what a good job they did. And Roland replies, uh, <laughs> he, he replies, yay, Gary throws his pizza party. <laughs> what? For no reason. <laughs> it's like, what? what? <laughs> he, he's trying to bait Gary into throwing us a pizza party for the great job that we did on Car Crash Comedy. How old is he? A pizza party. <laughs> A pizza party. So, uh, a pizza, pizza, pizza party. so then Gary, I guess Gary, party. Gary walks by. Uh, Gary walks by the office, and 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 Roland kind of <laughs> not asks for the pizza party, but kind of tells him that he's throwing a pizza party for <laughs> us. Pizza party. And Gary's like, you know, Gary, Gary's not going to throw us a pizza party. <laughs> no. but, how is Roland not fired yet? <laughs> I don't know. He it takes really major is amazing. chances, and that's coming from us. That we've taken a, a shitload of chances over the years, but he fucking plays it way harder than we do. He gets lippy. <laughs> he gets really lippy. And, and he doesn't sarcastic. Care. Really sarcastic. But it yeah. might go back to what you said to me before the show, that maybe management doesn't hear what he's doesn't saying. Doesn't understand it. Because I was they just don't saying, understand him. I was just saying, I honestly, and I'm not even joking, probably 70% of what Roland says I cannot understand. I don't understand him. It, it's 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 wor I think it's words, but a lot of it sounds like this. Like yesterday he was walking out. And, and and he was following me, and he was talking about the pizza party, and all I heard was like, "Yeah, so you're going to do a pizza party?" <laughs> and I was like, I was like, he said some other words, but I don't know what they were. <laughs> and I was like, pizza party? What pizza party? Oh, here we did. I'm going to do a pizza party. <laughs> like, what the fuck is he saying? I don't know. Our boss was asking Roland yesterday why he didn't show up to the meeting. Oh no! And Roland just mumbled at him until he gave up. He was like, "Okay." See, like, it's a tactic. He goes, "I'm lost now." Like he literally, like he looked at me, and I said, "I don't know what he's talking about anymore." See, it's it's not just me. No, good. And and, and he's and, and he's really mad at Troy. He's calling Troy a rat. He's oh, he's he's furious with Troy. He said, "What's oh, the difference shit. between Troy and a rat?" And he said, "Nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing." They're Ooh. both what? Hey, yo, traitors or something? Well, because what is he, Charlie Sheen? Because Roland had, yeah. a, a, had a talent meeting to go to at eleven thirty. We winning. Our meeting was at eleven yesterday, the staff meeting, and so he didn't go to the staff meeting. And so our boss came into the staff meeting and said, "Where's Roland?" And uh, we said he had a, a talent thing. And our boss said, "Yeah, but I just saw him." <laughs> and 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 Gary said, "Oh yeah, well, you know, we told him he was excused because he has to leave at eleven thirty. And then Troy said to our boss, oh, Gary's boss said, you know, when I was walking here, Roland was pointing in my face laughing, saying, ha ha, you have to go to the meeting, oh, I don't. Shit. And he was bragging. And so then 
we told Roland of that course. Troy said that. There's so much ratting going on oh, around here. I can't wait to get Roland's take on that. He is not going to be happy. I think he's going to be no, Roland was not happy. happy. And, and then he sent an email to everybody, the entire company, including Mel. But to be fair, the reason that Roland found out was because E-Rock told him because E-Rock was pissed that Troy ratted him out for being lazy with the Worst of the Week countdown <laughs> on Friday. What, what is Troy doing? Uh, Troy, Troy is, is a fucking <laughs> snitch. Troy is the lazy police around here. Uh, lazy police. Let me tell you something. When I met Troy about Busy a year job. ago, Troy was uh, one of the nicest people I've ever met. <laughs> uh -huh. And after a year of being on this yes, radio show yes. staff, he is exactly like one of us. And, and yeah, we've nice. completely, he's completely been embraced. I think somebody's a really bad influence on him. We broke him down. <laughs> Who's that? Sam Roberts. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so it leads to the pizza party. And Danny, oh, yeah. you were laughing. Pizza what, party. So why are we having this pizza party? Because Roland's a child? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to lose your invite, dude. Oh, really? shit. Is it invite only? Are, are there yeah. invites oh, and everything? Man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is invite only. And this is because Gary won't throw a pizza party? Yeah, and then the next thing I know, like, you know how Roland sends out these, like, you know, professional, like, you know, booked so-and-so in studio emails? Yeah. yeah. He sends out, like, one that looks exactly like that, but it's for the pizza party. He's like, pizza party, pizza me party. and Eric's office, noon, you know. Is he P pizza allowed party. to just throw a pizza party? Hey, yeah. We, I mean, it's we, pretty we had a strict KFC around party here. a couple months ago. He's paying for it out of his own pocket. Yeah, but, but it's on company, you know, property. So I would think this would have to go through the lawyers if someone chokes on some cheese. Oh, uh, that's a good point. He basically, yeah. Gary said, well, Roland, I'm not going to throw a pizza party. Are you going to, like, he's like, you're not going to throw a pizza party. Why would I? And then Roland said, oh, oh yes, I am. Oh, contraire. <laughs> oh, okay. So was it like in your face? Right. And then Roland said, so, he wants to throw a pizza party that's so good that when management throws the next pizza party, everyone's talking about no Roland's No one's pizza. throwing a pizza party. <laughs> Isn't a pizza party usually mean that someone just buys a couple pies? <laughs> no, they're not called pies no. in New York. No, it a doesn't. A couple. There's more than just a couple pies. Yeah, oh yeah, bought? yes. And you talked to uh, Roland yesterday. This was yesterday when it was all starting to come together. When it was realizing that this was a real thing, because I guess we don't have a lot of guests this week, so Roland is yeah. using his free time to plan the pizza to party. Plan the pizza party. <laughs> and so I walked in, and it looked like he was getting guests ready for the show. Mm -hmm. But as I was talking to him, I realized he's planning the pizza party. <laughs> and he's very nervous about the pizza party. Well, he wants I, to make uh, sure it goes I, well and that nobody who's not supposed to be there he, Well, shows I guess out. I'm not because I don't think I got the pizza party uh, email. I don't think I got the official pizza party invite. Well, you got one yesterday. We did. Yeah. All right. This, is, uh, this is Roland talking about yeah. his pizza party. Oh, Roland, what are you up to? Uh, I am up to booking guests, sir. Oh, cool. What do we got? Stuff for uh, people coming on the show or... Oops, I might get a confirmation. What's a confirmation for? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Big guest. Someone says I can't throw a pizza party. I throw a pizza party! You're throwing a pizza party? Yes. Uh, and also have a DJ, Troy Kwan, will be at the party throwing, spinning some tunes. What else are you planning? There'll be some surprises. <laughs> this is a real thing? You're really surprises. doing this? It's happening Thursday at noon. If you have the email... And the special password, you're invited. If not, I'm sorry. I got the email. Yes, you got you got everything. You'll be here, but other people... You've been devoting a lot of time to this pizza party. What's getting you so excited about this? Because this is going to be an awesome pizza party. So the whole reason you're doing this is because... I just want to show people, this is how you throw a pizza party. <laughs> Don't order two pizzas from Domino's for five ninety nine and tease me... Oh, are you booking see, guests for the pizza the party? Words. We're getting conf confirmations for guests to the pizza party. <laughs> but dude, that's a mystery, though. Yes, they're going to be here. You go, hey, did I just bump into so-and-so? They go, yes. You're keeping it cool that way. Yes, it's going to be a cool pizza party. I can't wait. Can you say it one more time? A big pizza party. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's going to be quite a party. Oh, it will be. <laughs> and and he's a weirdo. <laughs> and, so yeah, and we have to say uh, it's not a it's not a bit. He's really just no. He's very excited. Nobody told him to do this. He just started doing it. And, and he's gonna have Troy Kwan spinning tunes in our office. He's literally. I heard something about a bubble machine. A bubble too. machine. I, yeah, I heard about the bubble machine. And he's getting like uh, an iPod. Or, no, he's got Troy to bring in a laptop with like DJ software on it. So, he's so gonna, and he's going to plug it into a stereo in his small office. And we said, Roland, why yeah. don't you move it into like a studio? And he said, 
I want it to have like a college dorm room feel, so we're just going to pack everyone into my office. <laughs> but they're not going to allow this. Uh, Does anyone uh, understand? He's got a bubble You're machine. You're like people are working back there at noon. <laughs> Human resources. No, they, well, this thing is going to. Oh, well, there's supposed to be. This is going to disrupt. This is a, a. You have no idea how out of control this has gotten. This I is was, a major disruption on my time. Right. I was walking down the hall yesterday, unsolicited. Our bosses, not get, not Gary's boss, that guy, his assistant comes out to me, and he goes, so I hear about a pizza party tomorrow. Ah, the so his assistant will be there. A guy who works in traffic, yeah, we, it, was, it was just putting commercials and stuff in, goes, Sam, I keep hearing about this pizza party, can't wait. This is like the big <laughs> event here, and that just goes to show you, we're not alone. Everyone feels like... It's Groundhog's Day, right? And, and and they like anything out of the ordinary, and everyone's freaking out wow. about this pizza party. Uh, e Rock's got something <laughs> else on this. Uh, we're waiting on confirmation, but Roland may have a bouncer with the VIP list in order to get into this pizza party. <laughs> oh, like somebody standing at the door to the dorm room like office? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, it's it's half a dorm room. These offices I, it is are the tiny. smallest. Fucking office. Gonna have, is he going to have it in two offices? No, one office. <laughs> one office. Just his? Yes, just his. And he's been contacting people that he knows from reality shows, trying to get celebrities to stop <laughs> Wait, wait, he wants celebrity? This one is star-studded? I don't want to blow it. Is the paparazzi going to be there? He was trying He's trying to get Ryan Starr to perform at the pizza party. <laughs> Ryan Starr? Isn't he going this on... This is retarded. He's going on tour with uh, Bon Jovi, I think. Not yeah. today, though. He doesn't have time for a pizza Not today. Party. I heard he was trying to book Tom Papa. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather have Papa? Mike Starr perform at the pizza party. <laughs> oh, shit. Mike Starr is dead. Ah... Uh, <laughs> That's fucked up. This is fucking crazy because, like, people have to not be distracted by noise and <laughs> Yeah, but pizza you don't understand, and... Anthony. This is a place, Sirius XM is a place where you do anything but what you're supposed to be doing. You just, oh. you, yeah, you, you hang out, you have little parties in the corner. It's bizarre you just, you office. Walk, you walk around, you're just always perpetually in the hallway, nothing gets done. That's this place. Oh, okay. But so See, it's okay to do that. It's okay to throw pizza parties. It's okay because this it's is just going, a it's a big party. Here. This is party. going this is going too far. I I predict that Roland gets fired <laughs> by by spring. Spring? Yeah, because he's too much of a he's he's too different. He's he's, he's a loose cannon. He's a loose cannon for yeah. this this new corporate environment that like, we're all a part of. And I mean all meaning the people listening as well, they got that corporate bullshit happening where they work. He's spending hundreds of dollars just, out of his pocket just, for no reason for a pizza party. It doesn't make any sense. Just imagine so you worked fun. just imagine you work for someone that's a bit rogue. Yes, yes. And, and they want to throw a pizza party at your office. So what would happen to that guy? They would figure out yeah. a way to fire him. His behavior yeah. is just impossible to predict. Yeah. So I hear you wanna throw a pizza party, yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to. No. Is rolling around yet? Yeah, he, he's here. And is, could you, is he planning? Yeah, he's, this is his big he's day. Planning. Sam, could you walk the halls just get audio? I want to. Yes. I want to know what the buzz is on the pizza. Yeah, party. what's the buzz in the hallway I know about the pizza here party? Yeah, it's not people here yet, but throughout the yeah, morning and into the into the ten o'clock show for sure, we'll be covering this. A Ro few months ago, a couple of us were just talking Yo. about getting some uh, some KFC. Well, what do we got here? And all of a sudden, Roland's like, hey, Ooh. I'll just buy everyone hundreds of dollars of KFC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. I just, I just said, what did I say? I was just like, hey, Roland, when are you going to buy us all lunch? Just like as a joke. Like, obviously, I wasn't serious. And then he was just like, hey, we can do it. You want to see KFC? Let's go get it. And then all of a sudden, we had hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of KFC. <laughs> <laughs> really? I swear to God. Where are you getting all this money from? No, I see morale is down. So I was like, people are down. So I'll bring it up. I'll throw an epic pizza party. Epic pizza party. It's going to be epic. Ten pies from two boots. <laughs> None of this bullshit. Um, like Wait, ten pies from two boots? I think you said two boots. <laughs> What's I think that? you said <laughs> two boots pizza. It's like it's like uh, special pizza. It, it's where they make like the Mr. Pink and the. The, all those like uh what's the word I'm they looking do. for? Special specialty specialty pizzas. Specialty like, pizzas. Can you get like the Hawaiian pizza? Um yes. With pineapple. It's called the Hawaii five O. It's called the Hawaii five O. You really have ten pies coming. <laughs> ten pies, a cake is um being baked right now from Amy's bakery. Thank you, Sarah. A donation. Uh, got cookies. He's got a cookie Thanking platter. Thanking people. I got cookies. You got cookie platter I, coming? I'm soda, so nothing is coming out of the companies. Nothing's being touched by the company. And, and the company's right. allowing you to do this? Because they're we have a bunch one of hour, duddies. We have one hour lunch where we can do whatever we want. So from 12 to 1, 
It's a one-hour-long pizza party? Yeah, because you only have one hour for lunch. So I'm abiding by all rules. <laughs> and what about the, the sound of the music and the bubble machine? Isn't that going to be a distraction? <laughs> I hear music all day in the hallway, so we'll be playing. Well, it's church radio. We're just monitoring. Radio. Oh, is that it? Yeah. How one of the, uh, one of the production people, who will remain nameless because he'll probably get in trouble, told me in the bathroom yesterday that he was thinking about making some imaging for <laughs> Roland's Actually, pizza party. I was just going to say that we, maybe we should get Derek on like a big intro for the pizza party. What, it's already <laughs> done. And now, <laughs> somebody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> to, the first, to annual. the first annual Roland Pizza Party. Yeah. There's pizza, soda, bubble machines, <laughs> Troy, Quan, spinning the tunes. <laughs> What's going oh, to get in trouble? Celebrities, star-studded. Yeah. A half an hour before the pizza party, we will do a red carpet <laughs> where uh, we would be talking to people going into the exclusive Velvet Rope well, pizza party. If they, could, get, if they could get past the bouncer. You can, right. ask, not forget. You can ask people what they're eating. <laughs> yeah. What are you eating? Well, I'm having the Hawaii Five O. Uh, something a little different. I'm just going strictly uh, cheese. That's me. I'm a regular guy. All right, we'll see you inside. We'll see you inside. I, I, just, just, I just found it's out. It's an honor just to be here. I just found out who the bouncer is going to be. Oh. Uh, Derek Poundstone. Is that true? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Was that supposed to be a surprise? No, no. no there's no surprises. It's just like he may appear. And why? Because you don't want certain people in there, but you're not <laughs> allowed to openly say who these people are, because then that's when you would get in trouble with HR. That's correct. So other people... <laughs> so there's going to be a way gonna... to make sure these people understand they're not allowed, even yeah, though technically I'll buy they're milk allowed. Yeah, a little turkey to juice, whatever he wants. I don't know what he said. A little milk or turkey to juice? <laughs> that's what I just heard. That's, that's, what, that's what I just heard. I that's heard what he that drinks. Too. Yeah. That powers guy. Jews? <laughs> I don't know. He says things sometimes. I've already been issued by Roland an exclusive press pass. There's only one press pass. Uh, bro, wait, wait. Because you're covering the event. Yeah, only one person. So we will have exclusive coverage. There is only one press pass. Being you know, given. because of that, you got to put a sign up in your little office that says... Uh, by walking in here, you do understand that you will be <laughs> videotaped and audio taped, which yeah. can be used on for the Open show. Anthony show. Yeah, yeah. Let let make sure people know so you don't have to go. So everyone with a release and everything. Oh, it's just crazy. <laughs> and and uh, I, I saw Roland outside this building, and he's very nervous about this. Why are you nervous about your pizza party? You want to make sure it goes off without a hitch, right? Yeah, and then um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like an MTV show, like those those made or you know. Uh, my sweet 16, my super True sweet life, 16. True life, I'm hosting a pizza party. True life, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, when Roland said party. the name of the bakery, it just was Mumble. No, it was Amy. Amy's so. Bread. Amy's I, like I how... never heard him say that. <laughs> this, this party... You said Amy's Bread at some point? Yeah, he did. That, that would be I heard Amy, right? Except this isn't a... There's no... An image... It's a pizza party. There's nothing... It's oh, not yeah, a show... Yeah. It's not being broadcast. No, this is for nothing. It's for nothing. For, for Why did you decide to... Oh, because of the lunch thing? Well, yeah, I'm morale. People are, like, down. So I tell people, why don't we throw a pizza party? Like, they're like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's a great idea. So I said, pizza party next week. Do they like you around here? Or are they trying to figure you out? I think they should... I don't know. <laughs> Management doesn't know what to make of him because at points, it seems like he's being insubordinate. Yes. <laughs> but but really then he does really, like company guy type of things yeah like he helps out like another show getting guests and he performs yeah his his like job description he performs that job very well but but when he's not doing that thing yeah, he's like, being an a lunatic because on the <laughs> yeah. on the flip side he's hosting pizza parties and falling asleep in meetings so. right <laughs> now i well i can't throw any uh <laughs> stones there Anthony was the king I'll, of the I'll nap in the last yeah. one so i uh well, wow he's, he's still got you beat by 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 more than a couple. <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> I try. I try. I try my, but what do you think? I went in there with the intention of falling asleep. No, it just have you can't help it. Cross next time, uh, and make it religious. Yes, mm. that's what hey, he does. Uh, something else I noticed about Roland, he knows his food. I've been I've been observing this. <laughs> you for, noticed, huh? For a while. <laughs> Words hurt. But, he knows it. <laughs> If you mention a food group, he'll tell you the best place to get that food group <laughs> in New York City. Really, it, it's amazing. Go with go with. Uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't set this up ahead of time. Hamburger. Where would you go for a hamburger in New York City? 
That's a good, good one. Good burger. Why? Because there's a bunch of different places? There's a lot of different places. So yeah. I started off too uh, well, hard? We went on uh, E-Rock's birthday, which was the day that E-Rock needed cheering up, if you remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he wanted barbecue, and Roland insisted that we go all the way down into the 20s. Oh, my God. He said, we could just go across the street. And Roland said, no, no, we got to go to Rub. Because he knows where the best barbecue yeah, place is. Yeah, Rub. Well, for a burger, I would say go to the Parker Meridian there, that little place that's the behind joint. the curtain. That's what yeah. I try, try to the tell them. Joint is good. I like that. Yeah. What, what's your? It's sometimes overrated though. If they're too busy, they have a stacked. Yeah. All right. What about uh, what about pizza? Is it is it where you getting the pizza oh, from? Oh, Ray's. Ray's. <laughs> Ray's pizza. Original Ray's. 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 Original Ray's. Famous original Ray. Or Kess. <laughs> yeah. Or two boots. What? Kess. K e s t e. Kess. Cast. K A S T. What about uh, for your baked goods? Like, what about for your? Uh, oh, Amy's bread is really good. Amy's bread's really good. What or, about what about uh, the best uh, breakfast in Manhattan? Uh, Columbus Street Bakery down in. Um... <laughs> See, he knows. <laughs> How does he know See, all this? See, most people when you live in New York, you just eat um, a big waste. <laughs> you eat within two blocks of where you live. Not rolling. He travels. He travels because he knows where the best places are for the for what he's looking for. I don't know how, well, he's eked it out, I guess, going around New York City, finding the best food. Have you, uh, did you find this by trial and error? Like going into some bad places and go, oh, that was, uh, I didn't even know you know, that was good food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Big Set. pizza party at noon. You guys got Don't even show around. up, anybody. Well, you got, don't our, show up unless you're on the list. Are Opie and Anthony invited? Because they weren't. They're invited, but I know you guys at 9.59. Hey, we make yeah, it to 10. Uh, oh, 10, I'm sorry. 10 o'clock. Uh, wow. I'll be, I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be smelling the pizza in the elevator as well, the pizza guy comes up. Well, this up. summer, I'll th uh, one of my buddies is coming from for the barbecue championship. I'll throw a barbecue party. Oh. <laughs> and you guys, I do it right at 11. I have the pits outside. I don't think the pits. Uh, wow. Barbecue no, no. pits in the building? No, outside, though, because you get permits saying you're taping a segment for a TV show, they'll give you permits. So are you working on this now? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get past the, the pizza party. I have a feeling tomorrow at this time we're going to have a, a pig we're gonna be We're going to be discussing yeah, the pizza pig party roast. and everything that went wrong. What? A, yeah. What? Now, now, is it being delivered the pizzas? Oh yeah, I give them specific instructions. Oh boy, see that's a loose end right there. Why, that's kind of a why uh, specific. Well, I ordered yesterday for already today, so they can already cook the pies this morning. What if they preheat these damn I things? Can I can tell the difference. You will. <laughs> oh shit! And you'll be really mad at these oh, people. Oh man! Right? If oh, I'll he, just call. It, them, I'll call my credit card stolen, and then they get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I told the guy, "Don't fuck with me," because I know. <laughs> see, this is what we're talking about. I know he's Rolling insane. Will rip your fucking head off. We yeah, learned that at the yeah, other place. We, yeah, th we thought Roland was a pushover and one day we no. all realized this fucking guy will rip your head off. He is not a pushover. Not at all. So not I swore to me up and down that they'll make it fresh. Oh, that. the other thing before we move on with the actual radio show. Uh, you're you're mad at Troy Kwan. Who, oh, man. I saw, I saw your email. You're kind of... I was mad, but then I let it go because I do like Troy. He says that, though. I have a feeling that at some point... Where is Troy? Let's get him in here for this. Troy, yes. will, Troy will realize, oh shit, Roland just got me back. Because Troy, like, Roland will pretend he forgives you, and then he'll do something to you that you had no idea was coming. Like, he'll just pull one of his strings. Oh, here's Troy. And all of a sudden, boom. I don't know if revenge. this is. A, I don't know if we need the uh, music today. I don't know if this is a uh, conspiracy or not. It's just his, it's become his music. Troy, did you ride out Roland? I was joking around in the meeting, and I don't know what. Spin Sam put on it afterward. <laughs> was I lying? Uh, it wasn't spin. It was the Sam. It was uh, spin. that person said, "Hey, come here for a second. Yeah, uh, well, but then I what did you say at the meeting once again? Well, I want to hear it from your mouth. Well, basically, we have these meetings every week, and they're necessary. I understand that, but they're not the most really? fun things to do. That's really, not, tell me about it. So. You know, but we have to do it, and I understand it. So uh, you're still too corporate, by the way. We'll, we'll knock that out of you. He's spitting. Yeah. The anyway, a meeting is never necessary. You know what? Record the meetings because sometimes it gets around uh, midnight, one in the morning, and I just can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so if I could just have that going on a loop, oh, out like a light. All right. So the necessary meeting, yes. So uh, Roland had an event yesterday that he was permitted to be excused from Election. the meeting. Delicious food there too. <laughs> so th this was this was completely okayed by Talon and, and everybody down. So um, Bladder had saw 
uh, Roland downstairs when the meeting had started. I wait for the town department. I'm sorry. Just wait for people. Camaraderie. And I was just, I was, I was goofing around. Camaraderie. I don't know. I was goofing around that he wiggled his way out of the meeting. And then I just, I should have realized who I was goofing what around with. Say? What did you say? I said he wiggled his way out of the meeting. No, no, you no. Said no. You, saw you him on said the he was bragging to you. Oh, about he was. Not yes, he was. And, oh, and, okay. and, and I was jealous that, that he was able to get out right, of the meeting. Right. He, you said he was laughing, saying, ha ha, I don't have to go to the meeting. Yeah. So what's the spin? No, that's what I said. All right. Why would you say that? Because I was jealous. Yeah, but, uh, you know, there's one thing being jealous is another, like, you know, ratting someone out there. Too. Yeah, but he had a free permit to get out of the meeting. Yeah, it's some people, you can't hate on the guy just because no, he I did don't. something that, that you didn't weren't able to do. And, you know, sometimes you just got to look and go, ah, I wish, but I'll keep my mouth shut. Right. Yeah. I you mean, were in the mob. Boy. Yeah. yeah. And he got back to Roland. So what did you say about Troy? Troy? Juan no more. He's a Juan Ratito. <laughs> Juan Ratito. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't know. You said there's no difference between Troy and a rat, right? That is correct. But you're okay now? Yes. Until when? <laughs> when? Until when? Until my revenge plot is acted on. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Is he invited to the pizza party? Is he, he is still, invited to the pizza party. Are you still going to be DJing the pizza party? He's invited to the pizza party. Are you really DJing his pizza party? Yeah. I have a, I have a whole set ready to yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like he's got a whole set. See, pizza yeah. brings people together. Whole DJ set. <laughs> what kind of music did you pick for like the pizza party? Just more upbeat, more clubby kind of shit. Clubby stuff. You know? yeah. just gonna keep the p people moving out on the dance floor. You know, dance floor. And it's it's <laughs> this office is like. Tiny. Excuse me, right. could I squeeze past you? I need some pizza. Where's the pepperoni? I want uh, the meatball and pepperoni uh, slice. There's not even r room for ten pies in that office. Or, or where are like, the pies going to be? There's yeah. no room in the office to lay them around. Um, uh, right on top of the printer in a special corner. There. What? Uh, what? I don't know. Top of the printer by the corner. I heard on top of the painter's bushel. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says that I... Uh, okay. You, you got to speak Roland. All right. Well, Sam, wow. when you get some audio, I want to I see what the the place is uh, doing as far as this pizza party goes, if they're talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. It's the event of the year. Okay. Holy shit. Plus, everybody's very confused. Nobody understands why this is even happening. I mean, Roland's no just really a guy who books it. guests. Well, morale, why, why morale is, is low. Throwing a company party. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's just uh, an employee. <laughs> I know, he he's not even allowed to make that decision. It doesn't make any he's sense. He's just doing it. <laughs> it, it's, it really is. He's usurping bizarre. management. <laughs> I love it. Well, the place needs more Rollins. <laughs> it really does. This is going to make management feel like they have to throw pizza parties. Well, they better. He's and it better be better than hand. Rollins. <laughs> yeah. He's forcing their hand. Yes. All right, well... Uh, We'll have an update on the pizza party later today, or certainly tomorrow. We'll get the the scoop on how it went down. Make sure you get a lot of video. Huh. All right. Should we take our first break? <laughs> yeah, why not? See what the fuck's going on in the world Wh after the break? Why not? I do know we have uh, a voicemail from Mike Starr. Really? Yes, the original basis of Allison Chains, who's now dead. A voicemail? Yeah, uh, a voicemail for his drug dealer the night before his death. Yee. Ooh, how'd that get out so fast? I don't know. We'll get to the bottom of that. We'll Jesus. find out how that got out next. Mm. And Sam brought me and you, Aunt, a oh. gift this morning. This is a gift. It's called uh, A Few Minutes from Kathy Lee and Hoda. All you need is a few minutes. This is a precious gift, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Because we think this is the worst <laughs> show on TV. And I slash can't believe... best. Yeah. Uh, slash best. <laughs> and I can't believe this is actually on TV. Yeah. Not just TV, it's on NBC, right? Yep. Yeah, it's, on, it's the. It's and they the, try to sell it as the extension of the Today Show. Right. Which is a big time staple, as we yeah, all know. They call that the bitch hour, though. They call it the bitch hour. Yeah, if you're a celebrity oh. and you're booked on that hour, they call it the oh, bitch hour. Oh, you're like, oh, I'm on the bitch hour. Oh, oh really? really? Look at this yeah. in, little inside uh, info so there. So, when, like, when people are booked, they're like, oh, Graham booked on the bitch hour. Uh, this show is so horrible. I don't know why everyone is not watching it. I. Just to see how horrendously bad this the is. The shit they were talking about and, and just how they were doing it. It's, it is such 
babble. Yeah, I can't wait Just to do this. Babble. Maybe we'll do it after the break. Oh, I would love to. Uh, a few minutes from Kathy Lee and Hoda, and that's all you need, too. That's all Sorry. you need. Just a couple minutes. What you need is the first, if, if you want to take a peek, uh, the first 10 minutes. Yeah. That's right. It's gold. It's gold every morning. It's Cause gold. Because then, then after that. The best. After that, the suits get involved. Like, all right, you got to, like, do an interview or something. A segment. Or you got to cook some shit for everybody. Yeah. But the first 10 minutes when they're just babbling is just gold every morning. Um, I'm seeing questions here, and I've been curious about this. When are we getting back the results of oh, right. young Sam's uh, heritage uh, DNA Great test? Question. Any day now. I, Any I, yeah, I've day been now. I've been hearing with, that for a while. Though. Right, but I've been in touch with the president of the company. And uh, they just Barack can't, they Obama. Can't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wow. can't figure it out either, right? Yeah, yeah they're, 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 having, they're a having a really tough time feet. with this one. Very tough time. They've requested, you know, more help. Uh, but I was told on Friday that it would be uh, two to three days. So figure two to three days. Then they mail it here, and then we should have it by the end of the week. And then, uh, and we'll know. And then oh. we'll know. Is Troy Kwan going to be spinning his Charlie Sheen song at the Pizza Party? Oh, People want think he's going to shoot People want that know. in. Probably. Probably. Like, hey, people, All look right. at this. So the bubble machine, Troy Kwan spinning, 10 pies. Cookies, uh, cake. Cookies, cake, and oh. possibly a bouncer to make sure and that... Dr. Pepper. Yeah, and Diet Dr. Pepper, uh, to quote Roland, for those of us watching our calories. <laughs> <laughs> what about bitches? Ah, wait a minute. What about chicks coming to this thing? Well, I've had the accounting. <laughs> that sounds thrilling. Is that where the hot ones hang out? Yeah, yeah accounting. Cause, That's good. Cause on this floor, not so much. Mm -mm. Couple, you got not a couple. Not so much. You're, you, you're not staying. Not uh, so much. You're not staying late enough to when the new interns arrive. I think. Uh, really? Oh in yeah, interns. Remember and here's those? what you got to do. You got to say, oh, "There's a couple of good ones." Right. And that way. If anyone you're hears, safe. they go, well, I'm one of the good ones. Yeah, you're safe. Yeah, as they're shoving they're, that pizza in their face. They're all good ones. We've got yes. the interns. They're all good ones. Oh, really? Absolutely. So how about some? This thread, they are all good this ones. thread sucks without pictures. <laughs> <laughs> thread useless without pics. Yeah, we need pics. You know what? I, and I would try to do that, but my, she'll catch me, and then I'll just be the creep that tried taking a picture of her yeah, or, or them, true. whatever. Right, we need right, pics. Right to HR. Yeah. We need pics. Yeah. But saying there's a couple of hot ones means we don't get a meeting with HR anytime soon. And I like it that yeah, way. Yeah, I don't true. even know who HR is. We right. do. You do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if they walked by, I wouldn't even know. Uh, seven, we'd all seven, say hi to them. <laughs> 17 years doing this insane show without, hey, Steph has a go. without <laughs> one meeting with HR. That is a new record, my friends. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back with uh, our gift from Sam, a few minutes with Kathy Lee and Hoda, and the Mike Starr voicemail the night before he died. Yeah. Stay there.